Welcome guys to another episode of my 360 YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some oxtail. I know, oxtail Jamaican style. This is the reason why I'm all Jamaican out and ready for you guys. So what I'm doing guys, I'm crystallizing 20 years of my life as a professional chef in the format of a YouTube channel to teach family, friends, strangers, everyone out there how to cook from home restaurant quality food without compromising on flavor utilizing what's in your house i'm not going to go no extra mile and get the most expensive vinegar the most expensive pepper you you get the drift of what i'm trying to say it's going to be whatever i have in my house without compromising on flavor the oxtail today guys is a traditional way the method might be a little bit different i have jamaican viewers here that's looking at me and they're saying let's see how this guy cook oxtail let's see if he's doing it the right way I'm gonna tell you this is your heads up it's not gonna be the way you have done traditionally but it's gonna be a combination of what I've been doing for the last 20 years and what works end result is gonna be the same there's a Jamaican saying there's more than one way to skin a cat right cooking some oxtail put a dry rub on it and finish it off with some soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to put some base, some bouillon, and ginger, some carrot, and Irish potato. I'm going to start off with garlic infused oil. The purpose of the oil is to get a nice balanced coat when you put the dry rub on. A little bit of salt. Oxtail seasoning. Cumin, all purpose seasoning, soy sauce, there's a bit of a mess there, but we're keeping it real over here, right? Who's just the sauce? So I got half of onion, each onion, it's 1.5 kilo to half red onion, half Spanish onion. Why do I use red onion? It sweetens up my oxtail once it's cooking. So what you want to do guys is massage that seasoning in. And the trick to get a really nice oxtail tomorrow guys is I tie this up as tight as possible. If you have a fat pot bag that's great or any bag that's sealed. But if you could put this in a bag and tie it up so all that season then get it submerged within your oxtail. Yesterday guys, we marinated our oxtail. So let's see what it looks like. So you got that nice ginger on there. So just marinated. So there's two ways to do this guys. You can A, pot with oil and sear it off. That's one. Or two, you get the same result. What I like to do is get it in a hot oven, the high settings, and just get it in a hot oven. The onion bits, with your oxtail, that's gonna be your gravy. So we don't wanna get those in, cause all these are gonna do is burn. You, you don't wanna use your onion. So everything in the bottom of this container is gonna be my gravy. So we're gonna get it at the high setting, I would say approximately 10 minutes then turn it. What you're doing guys is these fatty areas on my oxtail, we're gonna make a nice sear on it. We're gonna close the pore of the meat and we're gonna lock that nice flavor in. So there's two ways to do it. You could A, sear it in a pot. Personally, this is the most effective way I know. So everybody does it different. This way, the oxtail is not oily. I do not cook oily food. I don't like oily food. I, don't you hate when you go to a Caribbean restaurant, you get your oxtail and it's swimming in oil. You're not getting this on that channel. And in this channel, you'll never get that, right? You're always gonna get nice consistency without oil. So now we're all ready to go in the oven. We're gonna check on it in 10 minutes and then we're gonna turn them and then we're gonna saute, the next move is to saute that in the pot 
we're gonna add a bit of tomato ketchup to that and then hot water as we go a little bit of uh, bouillon like veg bouillon uh, red wine is ideal as I said before in my introduction I'm thinking okay guys you probably don't have a bottle of red wine home can I do it is it going to be all right if I don't have red wine yes it will be fine it's gonna be some veg bouillon this is this guys this is a must have gotta have gotta have a pimento seed gotta have it right so that's a must have so we're gonna finish it with some beans guys I'm very happy with the color of my oxtail the vegetables from last night my marinade I'm going to be putting that in a pot I will add a little bit of tomato ketchup and a scotch bonnet pepper so that goes in my pot nice hot dog cheese On this channel guys, I promise you to do things a little bit different to teach you technique to make your oxtail, make your food come out a lot better than restaurants and people out there. This is one of the secret guys I want you to pay close attention. This is veg stock. At no point am I going to be adding water to my oxtail. Reason being, water doesn't have flavor, does it? Water has no flavor. So if I'm cooking with veg stock, and your favorite chef is cooking with water, who's gonna have a better product? So, veg stock. I'm cleaning up that pan from earlier. And I'm using hot water with the veg stock. Why am I using hot water? I don't wanna slow down the cooking process. I'm gonna put a, a couple of pimento seed in. Gotta have pimento seed. After the first four to five minutes, I'm gonna put a little bit of carrot and um, I'm gonna put some Irish potato. That's gonna be my thickening agent. So let's get that oxtail in. My oxtail, guys, has no browning. I do not cook oxtail with browning. The natural oil from the oxtail I won't be putting that in the pot either. Once I put that in, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, we're gonna get that all in there. And this is where you need a good view inside the pot. So my oxtails are in. I'm gonna let it cook nice and slow now, at a nice simmer, right? And if you're happy with the way it looks, look at that already. And there's no thickening agent in here just yet. I'm gonna put like a half a potato just to thicken it up later on, right? And then we're gonna finish it with fresh thyme and the beans, the beans of course, at the end. So at the moment, we're just gonna let that go nice and easy for about an hour, hour and a half, then we check it. And we're gonna finish it up with fresh thyme and the beans. Okay guys, there you have it. My oxtail has been cooking for an hour and 45 minutes. So now I'm ready to add my beans. I got beans and fresh thyme, fresh thyme at the end. So you get that bean in there. And I'm gonna give it a little stir. Let me show you guys. Let's give it a little stir. Spin it over there for Tanya so she can see what's going on. So we're just gonna get that bean up in there. I'm gonna cover that and just let it simmer for another 15 minutes, nice and slow. Keep in mind guys, if your sauce is a bit watery, you could have put you could have had a bit of Irish potato. This one didn't need it, I had enough onion, I got the natural sweetness from the onion and this is just going to stay here and just cook for another 15 minutes. Okay guys, there you have it, finished product, I got oxtail and beans, 
I also done some rice and peas from some fried plantain. I did some cucumbers. I took some veg out. Just basically what I could find in the house. Just like I promised you guys, I'm just utilizing what's in my house to create restaurant quality food. This is a traditional Jamaican meal. Jamaicans like a large portion, so that's why this, I have a lot on the plate. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget guys to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Your boy Chef Kadian out.